Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, really appreciate you coming along. Um, like the video and subscribe if you're interested in following along. But uh, Monday is today, officially, um, if you check the calendar. <laughs> and uh, our way in this morning brings us down to 355.2? Let's just call it 355. 355. So we are officially down 20 pounds in one month since I did my weigh in on Christmas. So, woot. Um, I have learned that I am financially motivated. I've known this all along, but I've relearned it. So in order to kind of help with my fitness, uh, I've decided to sign up for a 5K run, which is going to be happening sometime in April. So I am going to be using the Garmin Coach on my watch to kind of help me plan out my training program for that and kind of get me back into the swing of that because it's been several months since I've even recorded anything serious on Strava. I've already done two runs. I did a cadence drill and a long run um, in the past couple of days. So that's really kind of getting me excited and pumped to keep working hard towards that. That's really my long term goal as of right now in regards to fitness and kind of working out. I do have the webinar with the bariatric surgeon on Tuesday. So that is something to look forward to. Aside from that, there is one thing that I do kind of want to discuss and be a little open with. A couple of days ago, I received an email from a major fast food chain that I used to frequent quite a lot last year. To be perfectly honest, the email was extremely upsetting. Um, I'm not going to mention the name. I'm sure it's one that a lot of people have been to, but I use their app quite frequently to make purchases throughout the year. And the email said that I had made 142 purchases using the app in the past year. And that really made me think about where I was going to get my main source of nutrition and food nutrition and food um, it was really disheartening to see that number because when I really think about it that's probably only half of the amount of times that I had frequented fast food places in general that's not counting other chains that's not even counting the total amount of times that I'd probably been to that specific uh, chain cumulatively last year because I could probably figure that there's double the amount of times that I'd been there that I had not used the app. That's just what the app had calculated. It really made me reevaluate my relationship with food and who or what I blame. And I came to the realization that when I was thinking about this, at first I wanted to blame them because it's something that's easy, it's cheap, and it kind of makes you wonder like, well, if I hadn't gone there so much, would I still be this overweight? But at the end of the day, I made that decision to go there. And the only person that I can really blame for going there that frequently is myself, not them, not the prices, not the ease of access, not the fact that everyone has delivery now because of changing times with COVID. It's, it's me. I made the conscious decision whether I was hungry or not to go there every single time and to other places every single time. And I first felt repulsed by it, but now I think I'm at a point where I just, I'm okay. I am not gonna be hard on myself. It's just something that I just need to really consider going forward and kind of determine what is a good source of food and nutrition and what is not. I can proudly say that I actually haven't been to a fast food establishment at all since the beginning of the year. Um, it is something that crosses my mind every once in a while, how easy it is to just go up to the drive through at late hours when nothing else is open and just grab something and go. But if I just kind of continue to make the conscious effort that I don't want this, I don't need it. And that's the most important thing that I think we all kind of need to realize. We might want it, but we don't need it. Is it okay to treat yourself to it every once in a while? Yeah. I don't think I'm at that place yet. I'm not ready for that yet. 
I think I still have a couple of things that I need to resolve internally regarding my relationship with food before I get there, but I will get there. And I think that once I'm past that, now that I've accepted the fact that it is on me, the onus is on me to just get through all this and improve my relationship with food, I know that there will come a day where I can go through that drive through again and just be like, you know, I'll get one thing because I want it. I can treat myself to it. It's not gonna be what I'm depending on for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next three, four days, and it'll be all right. So yeah, uh, that was a little deeper than I wanted it to be, but uh, I just kind of wanted to get that out there because it's just something that's been bothering me for the past couple of days. And um, we'll see where we go from there. So the next video, I'm definitely gonna try to update you guys on how it goes with that webinar with the surgeon and take it day by day. So once again, if you like this video, go ahead, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and uh, check out some other videos that I got going on. And uh, see you around next time. Thanks.